I'm Mr. Palmer here. I've got the first video in the series on system software. So this one's going to be looking at what system software is, why do we need it, and then what are the main functions of an operating system. Uh, from GCSC, this is basically going to be a bit of a recap, and then the next ones are going to take it into more depth. So um, obviously, software refers to the programs and operating data of a computer system. So system software is going to be the software that actually controls the hardware, and it allows other software to run. Okay. Application software referring to obviously all the software that we use to perform specific tasks. Okay, so um, first thing to watch out for with this uh, quick misconception I always notice in classes things like the sound manager, graphics card configuration, etc. etc. These kinds of programs basically, what we're talking about with those is they are actually just application software. All right, all they're doing is that they make use of the operating system and drivers to, con to, to configure the hardware for use. Okay. They are not actually system software. Now, um, the main functions of an operating system, so the operating system being something like Android, iOS, Windows, etc. Okay, I'm going to come up with, I'm going to say uh, six things to you. Okay, uh, if you look in different places, different textbooks, they'll come up. They may have variations on this. Okay, uh, these are kind of like my overarching classifications. So the first one is memory management. Okay. Where you allocate and deallocate memory to processes when they want to run. You use buffers to share data between processes and the management of virtual memory. We have got peripheral management. Uh, that is all done using drivers. So, for example, that uh, that configuration little program um, for the uh, graphics card that I showed originally a few slides back. That's making use of drivers to allow the um, that that application to interface with the hardware. We got scheduling. Uh, which is going to allow time slicing so that uh, tasks can be completed. Uh, there is another video in the series we're going to go into a lot more depth on scheduling. Then we've got uh, user blind interface, so we've got uh, command line interfaces, main drone interfaces, graphical user interfaces, natural language interfaces for things like uh, Siri, Cortana, um, Google Voice, whatever it's called now. Uh, we've got security. So we're using usernames and passwords to protect data, uh, encrypting data, etc. And then uh, disk and file management, and that's managing data, cut, copy, paste, um, transferring data between devices, reading data into uh, primary memory, etc. etc. Um, also formatting disks, although some people will classify that as a utility, not uh, not pure um, function of an operating system. Okay, so here we go. We got. Um, you should know what system software is and why we need it. Okay, and then you should know what the main functions of an operating system are.